she had been stabbed, held hostage, and escaped from a basement window. Police in Niagara Falls say a woman was raped, stabbed, and left to die in a basement. The man police say committed this violent attack is in jail tonight. And it all happened Saturday night at an apartment on 10th Street. News Force Rachel Monjovi joins us right now to tell us what police are saying tonight. Rachel? Well, Don, Niagara Falls police say they've never seen a case quite like this. They say the 27 year old victim is lucky to be alive tonight. It's a pretty heinous crime, and it shows a, a complete lack of, you know, just a complete indifference to human life. Niagara Falls Police Captain Kelly Rizzo says the city's most recent crime ranks as one of the worst. Detectives say a 27 year old woman staggered into the Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center Saturday night with several stab wounds. She was met by a security guard who eventually followed her blood trail. That trail led him to this home on 10th Street, just 800 feet away from the hospital. Officers did find a broken basement window with blood outside and also inside on the sill. Police say the woman was invited to this man's apartment, 25 year old Eduardo Rodriguez. The two knew each other. She told police he took her into his bedroom, forcibly raped her, pushed her down the stairs to the basement, and started stabbing and slicing her all over her body. When she began to scream, the suspect then punched her several times about the face and head. Investigators say the woman was left to die in the pitch black basement. Somehow, with severe injuries, they say she found a ladder, climbed up to a window, and broke it to escape. Then she rushed over to the hospital. The house is literally across the street from the emergency room, and she barely made it. I am convinced that if this crime had taken place at any other location in the city, this victim would have died. The woman was transported to ECMC and put into a medically induced coma. She remains there in stable condition. As for Rodriguez, he was out on parole for an unrelated attempted burglary charge. After the attack, police say he checked himself into ECMC as a psych patient. They believe to hide from police. Rodriguez is now behind bars without bail. Rodriguez was arraigned this morning in Niagara County. He is charged with assault in the first degree as well as rape in the first degree. He's also facing charges for violating his parole. Rachel Monjovi, News 4.